Hey guys, this is What the Tech, and today I'll be showing you how to install a custom ROM that is Android 9.0, that is Android P, on your Moto device. This should work with any Moto device which came out before 2018 June, I guess. Yeah, uh, you can check the eligibility of your mobile whether you can root it or not in the link which is present in the description down below. So this phone has Android 8 that is Oreo in it, Flash ROM, uh, but come on, who wants Android 8 when there is Pi? So today I will be showing you how to install the Potter. Android 9.0 Pi on your Moto G5 Plus. I'm, I'll be using Moto G5 Plus, but you can try it out using uh, whatever Moto device you have. It, this should work for other devices, other Moto devices too. So let's get started. Uh, first thing in the process is to root your phone. I'm not going to show that to you in this video because you can find it out. There are many more videos on YouTube like this, so I don't want to make another video. So uh, you can go just go check them out how to root your phone. I'll just give you a quick guide how to do that. Uh, if you go to your settings, you'll find a developers option and unlock USB debugging and OEM unlocking. Both should be on. Then connect your phone to your PC and turn it off. Yeah, this is Android 8.0. First, turn your phone off. Yeah, it is turned off. Then turn it on by pressing the power button and the volume down button. That will take you to the fast boot mode. Yeah, you will find this. Then you can toggle the switches by using volume up and down and select by using the volume key. So, once you have rooted your device, you should uh, reboot into. You can change the options by using the volume up and down button then you should go to the recovery mode and press the volume down button I'm getting the screen because I've unlocked my phone and uh, installed custom ROM 8.0 so while you are rooting your phone will be connected to your system first you have to root your phone then open the fast boot mode uh, in the recovery mode option then you have to wipe your phone so you, you gotta select all this stuff except for the internal storage because we have the flash rom copied in the internal storage here which you can find in the link given in the description down below you have to download that file on your PC and then convert it to your internal storage then you have got to swipe to wipe your data so now the data is being wiped on this phone yeah wipe should be complete then um, you go to the main menu then you press you gotta select internal storage where you have placed the or you can use an USB or micro USD which you can and at the end this will be the file which you got download and paste in your phone copy that in your phone then you, you go to the install mode and then reboot the system like select this thing and swipe to configure the flash If you want me to make a video on uh, routing your device, then please make sure to put that in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to make a video for that. I'll make sure to make a video with the easiest method there is. And hit the like button if you if this actually works. 
and then comment if it doesn't so come up with a new method so it's starting with a new phone now basically so this is basically a new phone you gotta start it up There you go, it's the new Android Pi version. And the camera you get a portrait mode. So you can install the G apps for more Google apps and you can download them by connecting to a Wi-Fi or something. But this I gotta tell you this looks cool actually yeah. if you are a fan of stock android experience and near pixel experience then this is a must try for you and please subscribe for more videos like this.